am Krista. Welcome to Another Woman's Treasure, where I chronicle my journey into minimalism. If you're interested in that, stick around. Today, I am going shopping for the first time with a minimalist attitude. All right, so I am about to go shopping. I rarely go into stores anymore because of COVID. I mean, like, I really don't at all. But um, after going through my closet, I realized I needed some of the black, like, athletic pants that I got rid of a lot of athletic pants. So I need some that fit right and are good quality. And I also, this is like super random, but I discovered I really need like a hoodie, like a zip up hoodie. So that's one thing I'm on the hunt for. I, I hope I am successful on my trip and uh, find what I'm looking for. All right, here is where I normally find lots of active wear and leisure wear, but I can't really find what I'm looking for. It's not the normal thing. Okay, there's active wear. Let me see what it is. This is more like sweatpants. Super soft, but not what I'm looking for. And that's more what I'm looking for, but they have a bunch of holes in the bottom of the pants. I don't think so. Whew. Okay. So I just came from Walmart, which I don't ever really normally shop at. And I'm like a 95% Target shopper when it comes to stores like that. So I went there because in the past I have been able to find like workout clothes that were more like active or loungy clothes. At Target, a lot of times it's like more in competition with like Fabletics or something like along those lines. It gets a little bit higher end and I didn't really need that. I want more like leisure pants and a hoodie, not like active wear working out, you know, like right type of thing. So since I already know that that's probably not what I'm going to find at Target, I'm going to try Old Navy and then TJ Maxx, which are in the same shopping center. And uh, hopefully I'll find something there. I'm going to start with Old Navy, I think, because that's a little easier to get through and more organized. All right, this is a Old Navy outlet, so it might be different than your store. Here's my first pair of pants. That's actually my shirt. See, it's really still lumpy along the side. Like, it has bulges. Second pair of pants and a top. Those fit really nice. They come up really high and are smoothing on the hip, which I definitely appreciate. The shirt is a little bit baggy, but it's a really great undershirt for under graphic tees. So I think I'm gonna get that one. And then another pair of pants. Those are green and they're a lot more active wear, like another undershirt that's a thermal. It's a little tight. I have a little couple of bumps there and the pants fit nicely. But in the end of the day, I just, I think they're too much like active wear. So I tried on three different pairs of leggings to fit nicely, but I'm only gonna take one home. So one pair of pants and two undershirt, long sleeve undershirts. So now I'm at Marshall's TJ Maxx and their dressing room was closed. So I'm hiding out in the purse section. I found two really similar green sweatshirts and I'm gonna take that top one home with me. And then I also found two open front hoodies. One's a zipper and one is just open. And I'm gonna take both of those home to try on. Here is an example of some active wear that I am getting rid of that is too small. You can see every little bulge at my stomach. And now here's the new pants and the new zip top hoodie. This is my sporty active wear version of using that hoodie. And it, I think it looks great. It's um, really comfortable. I'm ready to work out someday. Someday I might do that. And so here I can also wear it with a more just casual like jeans and a t-shirt and I think it still works. So it's really versatile, which is nice. It's just a black zip front hoodie that can keep me warm and it's really soft. So really nice to, to have as a, a basic piece of my wardrobe. So there's that undershirt that's a little bit big, but I could put it under a shirt nicely and keep my wa myself warm because I get cold very easily. It is really long though, so it would have to be tucked in as you can see. It's it's not super attractive when it's not tucked in. And I think it, it's kind of see-through so it needs something over it. So another version of wearing a long sleeve under a t-shirt, this is more like a graphic tee and a thermal. 
and it totally works. But then the same outfit could be without the thermal underneath it and using that open front hoodie that doesn't have the zipper that's a little bit of a, a weird swoopy thing in the back. Um, that's nice because it covers up your, your bottom if you have some tighter pants on or leggings. And here's the Lux, the new version of Lux activewear, which is just a little fancier version of sweatpants, basically. I tested this out with a dressier look, and I don't really think it works, but it works for the other two. So here is that green sweatshirt, and I just don't think it is doing any justice for me. So my new shopping mentality um going to going into a store as the minimalist thinking of not just what do i like but what do i need it was a very different experience and even now as i've tried on the things and really think about how i'm going to use them and how they're going to work for me it it's a completely different feeling than when i've shopped before and i was worried that it would take the fun out of shopping for me, but it, it didn't. It was just different. And um, so now that I've, I've gone through everything, this I think I'm gonna keep. Um, my husband was looking at it and reminded me that, he's like, don't you already have something like that? And I was kinda like, I used to, like five years ago I got rid of it. So obviously I like that, the jersey knit, I like the line of it. Um, it was really similar to the one I got rid of. And the only reason I got rid of the old one was because it was like worn. It had like a, in the hood, it had like a fur thing. And once it got washed a couple of times, it got really weird. So I got rid of it. I think it actually might've had a stain too. So that's replacing something that I always loved, but I got rid of for other reasons, not because I didn't love it. So I feel like that's a good replacement. It's similar. The one I had before was like a tannish color. This is a, like a heathered gray. So similar. Um, I wish it could go with more dressy things. It's a lot more casual, I think, because of the heathered gray. Like if it was that tan that it was before, and also the one before had a belt, and maybe because it had that like fur thing with it, um, I, I could wear it with dressier things. But still, I think it can go super cash, like comfy cash. It can go with jeans, just like over a t-shirt. It can be used a lot of ways. Maybe not super dressy though. So then the only hoodie in the greater tri-state area apparently i definitely am keeping because it's the only one i found in my size i did find some that were not my size or that had print on them and i'm not someone who's going to have like the logo of something or whatever that's not me so that was the only one um yeah and my husband also commented that maybe i needed to go to like a tractor supply or something like that like a uh, utilitarian type store to maybe find a hoodie. So maybe if I look for another hoodie again, I will look there. So then the other one was the black workout pants, active wear, leisure wear, active wear, whatever you wanna call it. Definitely keeping, I think it's just a nice basic piece that I can keep for a long time that fit better than the old ones with the lumps and bumps in them. These come up high, they're, they smooth you out, way to go. Sounds good, but also they could be used not active wear like you know it could be leisurely or just running around not we're actually working out i hear people do that so then the two shirts that can go under i'm still on the fence about it a little bit um this one was kind of it fit really well in the shoulders and the length of the sleeve it was just really long and a little bit baggy but i'm hoping that once it's washed it'll kind of shrink up a little bit more and it's really nice and silky so it's a little bit um of a higher feeling, a higher quality or design. It's still maybe it's not super high quality, but just like it's silkier. This, this a, a gray thermal. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. It was a little tight. I'm worried that when it gets washed, it's going to get even tighter. And also like a gray thermal, I could kind of find anywhere. The ones I used to have is when we lived in a small town in West Virginia and I got them at Kmart because that's where you could find them. And they just put them under anything and stay warm because it was West Virginia. I don't really need to stay warm the same way in South Carolina, but it is nice to be able to just put it under a graphic tee. So I'm on the fence about this one. The one I am not on the fence on was this one. This 
this baggy sweatshirt that I couldn't try on in the store, so I had no idea how it was gonna fit. It's a Rachel Zoe, which is like a nice designer. You know, I thought, oh, that's great. And <laughs> my husband was like, it's like, yeah, whatever you like. And then I was like, really pressed him. He said, you look like a jello salad from the 1950s. It's not a good shape and I don't like the color. So not that I really consider what he says, but I wanna know like, what's some feedback? Maybe everyone else is thinking this, right? I mean, and then once I tried it on and really saw what it looked like, it just, just didn't fit right. It just, it wasn't flattering. So it does need to go back. How much was this? It was $17. Um, not that it's about the money, because seventeen dollars is like whatever, but I don't need it. You know, it's, if it's something that I don't love, then I don't need it. A while ago, I saw a video from Young House Love. They have a YouTube channel that they don't really post to that often. But um, she was touring her closet, and I was like, "Where are the rest of your clothes, Sherry? Come on!" And so I was just like blown away. And then I listened to one of their podcasts where she talks about her closet. And I don't know, for some reason, that made it sink into me because maybe because I am a super nerd, but she was talking about how she thinks about her clothes like it's a grade point average, like in high school or college. It's a 4.0 scale and you want to keep your grade point average at an A. So everything needs to be at that A level because everything else brings it down. Every article of clothing that's not a 100% I love it, look, I look great in it, I can use it in so many different ways, brings down your average. And I was like, huh, that's an interesting way to think about it. And for some reason, that just kind of hit me a little bit more. I'm still never going to have the like four pieces of clothing that she has. No way. She only has one bra. Wait, now she has two and she's proud of it. No way. You need more than one or two bras. But I mean, it, it really like for some reason just like sank in with me that that made sense and maybe just how she put it it made sense to me like why am i keeping these things that i don't love that i don't look great in doesn't make any sense but i don't know just i just kept holding on to them so now i'm approaching it in a very different way and i still have a lot of clothes i still have a lot to go through a lot to really hone and I feel like it's always going to be a process. It's always going to be something I'm doing, but gradually I'm going to just keep peeling it back like an onion or a parfait and gradually wean, wean it down and hone it in to get to that 4.0. If I degrade my closet right now, I'd probably just be like a C plus, like honestly, because I have so many things in there that are not A quality. So I'm, I'm striving for an A plus. Come on, I'm an overachiever. A plus. I want to be magna cum laude of my closet. Well, thanks for following along in my first shopping expedition with the mentality of a minimalist. I love you and have a great day.